The euro is one of the most important currencies in the world, as it is used by a wide variety of countries from the European Union, as well as other nations that benefit from the ease of doing business with it. The birth of the euro is directly due to the European Union, an association of 28 countries that was created in 1957, with the aim of eliminating the barriers and conflicts that existed between its members. But, to understand this, let's go back a few decades to learn more about the creation of the European Union. So, let's go! Years after of the end of the Second World War, countries were still very divided and distrustful of each other, but they knew that they could not turn against each other and cause more destruction like another war. Due to the need for employment and growth of the economy, Robert Schumann, Frenchman, on May 9, 1950, proposed the creation of an organization to encourage cooperation between European countries to consolidate peace and compete together against the great superpowers, the United States and the Soviet Union. Robert Schumann said that the materials of the countries had to be controlled. So France, West Germany, Italy, Belgium, Luxembourg and Netherlands created the European Coal and Steel Community, a body that regulated the production and trade of steel and coal between different countries on the continent. Later, in 1957, the same countries that were part of the European Coal and Steel Community decided to form a common market, uniting their custom and facilitating trades in goods. This is how the European Economic Community was born. The same year, Aerodon, the European Atomic Energy Community, was created. Later, in 1973, Denmark, the United Kingdom and Ireland joined. During the 1980s, more and more countries joined the European Community and collaborated in different sectors, not only for trade and business. In 1992, with the signing of the Maastricht Treaty, All previous agreements are amended to shape this new union of countries. European citizenship was established and the creation of a single currency was approved, the euro. So, they decided to change its name to European Union. In 2004, the European Union admits 10 new countries and increases its membership to 28. Poland, the Czech Republic, Cyprus, Estonia, Hungary, Latvia, Lithuania, Malta, the Slovak Republic, and Slovenia. Now, we know that the birth of the euro is directly due to the European Union, an association of 28 countries that was created in 1957. As I mentioned, in 1992 the creation of the euro was approved. But it was not until 1999 that the euro was officially unveiled as the official currency. It is worth noting that the transition from the old currency to the euro took place from 2001 to 2002. Now an interesting fact. It is worth mentioning that the illustrations of doors and windows on the bills symbolize the elimination of borders between countries. Moving on, some advantages of its creation. Well, costs associated with currency exchanges were eliminated. The main benefits of the euro were to improve the ease of trade in order to increase the variety of markets so that all member countries could have a greater chance of growth and capitalization. The euro became the new currency for more than 300 million citizens.